Letters from God and His Christ, Volume 5 Desolations are determined March 19, 2006 From God the Father A letter given to Timothy for all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Woe to the kingdoms of this world! Woe to the false religions of this world! The atheist shall have it far better than you when the wrath of the great and dreadful God has come. Woe to the king of the north! Woe to the kings from the rising of the sun! Woe to the king of Persia and the people of violence! Woe to every nation and people who say, Come, let us put an end to Israel as a nation. Let us utterly destroy them, that the name of Israel may be remembered no more. Behold, I am against you, says the Lord God. Thus says the Lord to the king of the north, Come and mount up your troops and take flight. Call upon your agreement with those of the rising sun. Honor your covenant with the people of violence. Cast your devices and launch all your weapons of war. Come against my chosen people and the land promised to their forefathers forever. Come, says the Lord. Fulfill the evil desires of your wicked hearts. For you shall fall, and you shall not be found, says the Lord of hosts. You shall be a valley of dead and dry bones, buried in the land you came to destroy, for it shall consume you. Food for the birds, dwelling place of the worm. Therefore, come, I say, come and leave your spoil and your rotting flesh. For you shall surely stumble, you shall fall, and you shall not be found. And by your falling shall the name of the Lord be glorified in every land, even unto the ends of the earth. For this is but an awakening, and many shall behold it, the mighty and awesome power of the Lord. Behold, the earth shall be shaken, the clouds shall burst. I shall command pestilences to come upon you, they shall cleave to you and drink your blood, and you shall be driven mad. For you shall stumble, you shall fall, and you shall not be found. Save a sixth part, whose hearts I know, they shall return home and be spared. For in your eagerness to spoil, shall you become the spoil, and sustain my people seven days. Swiftly shall I destroy this great multitude who come out to fight against me, who seek to destroy my people Israel. For they shall be driven to the ground by fire, by hail, and by thick darkness. For strong is the Lord who defends Israel. Behold, my countenance has changed. My face is set hard against you, O enemies of Israel. My arm is outstretched and ready for battle. Thus that which is written shall be fulfilled, and that which is determined shall be done. And you shall be left utterly desolate. Then all shall know, I am the Lord. Yet understand this, O house of Israel. I do not do this for your sake, but for my holy name's sake, for my name is profaned among the nations. And you, O Israel, have not obeyed my word, neither have you walked in the way I have shown you. For you yet reject the one who I had sent to you, the Holy One who was glorified upon the tree. Thus his blood remains upon you. For you are the children of your fathers, the descendants of those who killed the author of life. Thus I have spoken it, and it shall surely come to pass, says the Lord of power and glory.